In the course of your organic chemistry experience, you're going to have uh, several unknowns that you're going to have to identify. Now, there are a lot of tests which you can perform, but the one that is almost surefire, unless you do something drastically wrong, is the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine test for aldehydes and ketones. And what we're going to do is to demonstrate that for you today. I've got an aldehyde, para-anisaldehyde, here it is, and acetophenone, which is a ketone. And we have the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine reagent. Now, this is a nice uh, uh, benign-looking stuff, but the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine has been listed as a carcinogen, and you should always wear gloves when you do this reaction. Okay, okay let's, uh, let's take a test tube, and we're going to put in some para anisaldehyde into the test tube. We just need a few drops of it, really. Let's... Uh, Okay, we got five drops in there, and that down. Okay, so we've got paranisaldehyde in there. Now let's take the 2,4-DNP reagent, and uh, you can s you can see that it's a yellowish color. Okay. Now when I drop this in here. You can see that almost immediately when the reagent contacts the, uh, the yellow liquid in there, the paranisaldehyde, we get the formation of a bright orange solid. Now what you would do then with this is to uh, take this material and suction filter it and then recrystallize it and then take a melting point of it and that would be the way that you could identify that you had paraanisaldehyde because the 2,4-DNP reagent forms what we call a 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazone derivative with the aldehyde and that uh, is the orange solid which you see right there. Okay, the second material is, uh, an, uh, is acetophenone. Here, that's a ketone. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that material, put a little bit of it in a test tube, in here. There we go. And we're going to put in the 2,4-DNP reagent. And just like with the paranisaldehyde, we get this bright orange solid. This is the 2,4-DNP derivative or 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazone derivative of acetophenone. You would suction filter this and uh, recrystallize it and then take a melting point of it and that would, uh, you would get the 2,4-DNP uh, derivative melting point of uh, acetophenone and that would identify this as acetophenone. But it really is that easy. It's the, it's the easiest type of derivative that you'll ever have to make. It took me three seconds to make it. So uh, good luck with this and uh, that's it.